foot long bug? Tarantula killing bug. This is a Hercules beetle. Hercules beetles are native to Central and South America. The males are characterized by two massive horns, one on its head and the other on its thorax. They are one of the largest and strongest species of beetles in the world, reportedly able to lift 850 times their own mass. Hercules beetles feed on rotting wood and fruit. Their horns are used more so in battle, to win breeding rights with females. This predatory insect is known as the assassin bug. These and other members of the family, including kissing bugs and ambush bugs, can be found in many regions of the world. These insects use a long needle-like appendage known as a rostrum, to impale their prey. Lethal saliva is injected, liquefying the prey which is then sucked out. Assassin bugs are one of the rare life forms to use external digestion. These are stick insects. They inhabit every continent but Antarctica. They have adapted to blend into their environment. Like leaf bugs of the same order, stick insects use their natural appearance as camouflage to avoid predators. Can you see this stick bug? With a possible body length of over 30 centimeters, stick bugs are the longest insects in the world. This harmless looking insect is called a bullet ant. It is native to Central and South America. While tiny and seemingly unthreatening, these small insects have one of the most potent stings in the animal kingdom. Sting victims describe the pain as that of being shot, with extreme discomfort lasting up to 24 hours. This beautiful caterpillar is known as the hickory horn devil. Characterized by their dangerous appearing spines, these insects do not sting and are harmless to handle. Native to North America, these beautiful giants may grow to 14 centimeters long. A tarantula hawk is a species of wasp, it preys on the very large tarantula spider. Despite its smaller size, this wasp is able to paralyze much larger prey, using its stinger to deliver potent venom. Once paralyzed, the female tarantula hawk will drag its victim to her burrow. The tarantula hawk then lays a single egg on the spider's abdomen. When the larva hatches, it will burrow into the living spider. The larva will feed on the spider, instinctively avoiding major organs so as to keep the spider alive as long as possible. After several weeks, a young tarantula hawk emerges from the burrow, continuing the life cycle. This insect is commonly known as a scorpion fly. It can be found all around the world. Scorpion flies receive this name due to the scorpion-like stinger, which is actually the male's genitalia. Another distinct feature of the scorpion fly is their beak-like rostrum. These insects engage in elaborate mating rituals. Males will entice females by offering a meal. If the female accepts the meal, the male will mate with her while she feeds. This huge insect is known as a giant wetter. These massive crickets living only in New Zealand are among the heaviest insects in the world. Some examples can weigh up to 30 grams and measure 10 centimeters long. The females are larger than the males, and all giant wetter are wingless. While smaller species of wetter are omnivorous, the giant wetter's diet is mostly comprised of leaves, flowers, seeds and fruit. This is a Solifugae arachnid, commonly called a camel spider. It is not a camel, however, nor a true spider. Unlike spiders, camel spiders do not have a clearly segmented abdomen, and can not spin webs. Perhaps the most distinctive feature of the camel spider is their powerful teeth-lined pincher. Feeding on crustaceans insects small birds and mammals, these powerful pinchers are capable of shearing feathers and cutting through bone. Despite their fearsome reputation, camel spiders do not have venom, 
and may only reach the length of about 12 centimeters. Except for Australia and Antarctica, camel spiders can be found in dry climates all around the world. This little bug is known as a frog hopper. Do not let his simple appearance fool you, for this insect possesses a superpower. Frog hoppers are able to jump a distance of over 100 times their own length. That would be the equivalent of a man jumping up to the top of a four-story building. In addition to their remarkable jumping ability, frog hoppers have another interesting adaptation. Young nymph frog hoppers are not yet able to easily avoid predators. Nymphs are able to encase themselves in a cocoon-like structure, which protects them during their transformation to adulthood. By feeding on a plant's watery sap, they are able to excrete their bubble fortress, earning the nickname, spittle bugs. Once fully grown, they emerge from the protection, fully capable frog hoppers.